Okay, so uh, moving on, um, Q and A we will not have. Five twenty it was Q and A. So we'll just go on to the next session. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll prepare a Q and A webinar session uh, just for Q and A after we post this video. So we'll give them one week or something. Let them look at the videos. If they have some burning questions, we'll have a webinar in like an interaction. Um, so submission and evaluation methods. Let me uh, go through it quickly now. Uh, let me present my screen. So um, this is uh, for the, all the participants. Uh, there are a lot of uh, questions regarding the uh, submission and evaluation methods. So we are going to present uh, what is being evaluated and uh, how the submission should happen. Um, the contents for this presentation will be what are the available resources. Uh, all the experts, the ISRO experts have gone through uh, before me. Uh, please look at the videos. What are the resources and how you could use that for solving the problems. Uh, please also note that there is one problem that is your own choice. So for that choice also only ISRO data should be used. So please don't use any other data because it is a different problem statement. Uh, use only the ISRO data and an open source software. What is required in submission phase we'll go through and uh, key points to remember while submitting, especially the map details. Um, uh, Mr. Nile had gone through uh, how to add uh, each uh, part of the map, legends, north arrow, all those are important. Please take note. Uh, what is the evaluation criteria we have set as a team? Uh, we will go through that. And um, yeah, so the available resources, uh, QGIS tutorials uh, for the software is available online and also with our own partners, Spoken Tutorial and FOSSE. All the ISRO data links are sh shared in the home page of the Mapathon. Uh, please refer to the data links. If there's any question regarding any data, please put it on the forum or on this YouTube uh, comments section. We will address it shortly. Uh, some people would have difficulty in obtaining boundary of district, state, or India. So I've added a, a section on data available with shape files of all the districts in India uh, and states and national boundaries. Uh, feel free to use it uh, for this research purpose. There were some questions regarding what, uh, for a particular problem statement, what is the scale of analysis? That is also uh, the freedom is given to the participant. Please pick a scale that is relevant for your problem statement. For example, if you're looking at locust um, movement, you can take a particular district movement, you can take a state movement, or also across India, how it moved, because it came through Rajasthan and then moved up to UP and also in the south. So you can take any scale, any boundaries you feel comfortable. Uh, again, the evaluation criteria will go through what we'll actually look for evaluating your product. So please all look at all these above links in the resource page. ISRO links, uh, the boundary data, tutorials, everything is given in detail in the resource page. If any questions, please put it on the YouTube link. Submission phase. Uh, the submission for this Mapathon is a two-phase system. Uh, first, uh, after the registration is closed, every single participant will be given a modal link. A modal is a software that we use to collate all the entries and uh, update it on our database. Okay? So instead of having you submit through an email, we will ask you to submit through a modal link. We will give you how instructions on how to use the link and submit your entries. Uh, email us if you don't get your uh, link to the registration by 20th December, because uh, there is uh, registrations until 18th. We will take two to three days time to update all the participants, uh, their submission links. So just give us two days, which is 20th December. If you don't get it after 20th, let us know by email. We will uh, arrange it for you. You can submit up to 100 MB of outputs. So some people were asking, some participants were asking, how many maps are you requesting? You, if you could explain your uh, problem within one map, that is good. Uh, uh, and you can take any number of maps uh, that you want to explain your problem statement. Again, your problem statement is the core. Using ISRO data is the core. How many maps you make is your creativity and problem solving skills. So please use as much as possible, but due to st a shortage of storage and, uh, you know, uh, uh, managing this database, we require each submission to be not more than 100 megabytes. 
okay so please keep it within 100 mb so you know that one jpeg could anywhere be around 5 to 10 Uh, so that gives you still that uh, flexibility of uh, 10 images if needed can be edited multiple times so if so suppose you you finish your submission by 20th december you submit it and somehow you think that no you could have done better you have more time you can always come back to your moodle link and resubmit you can download your previous submission delete it or, or add it or update it for example if you submitted one map by 20th and you want to add two three more maps that is also possible so please don't uh, feel shy on adding or deleting or uh, editing your entries and that can be done until december 31st midnight uh, submission is a two stage process which means two outputs we would require from you one is a map submission it should be a map um, could be an image uh, like how you export your map from qgis or any other format pdf uh, jpeg anything uh, is okay but it has to be a map submission okay uh, one is a map and the second uh, part of the submission is a document a document on what you did how does it relate to the problem statement that you chose and uh, what are the applications applications are very important for selling your product okay the first step uh, map submission uh, access for the first step what you would do ex as expected is access relevant um isro data um all the isro links are given and the tutorials are given in this youtube uh, use an open source software example qgis make the maps learn uh, the software or the data you are using the resources link we have given and for cnst do the map okay so do the map add a title so when you do the map or develop the map please add a title uh and also legends and north arrow a legend is uh, what are you trying to map and what are the categories in your map that is very important i'll show you an example otherwise we will not be able to read your map your north arrow is very important for us to align your map uh, so and it is a very important commodity of a map your details and scale scale is also important uh, please add it and uh, your details your details as in what you would like to be shared in public domain please don't uh, think that we are asking for details to be published um, it is only what you feel comfortable your name uh, your email or something like that why because if someone is interested in your map they can contact you uh, you could also leave it it is not compulsion it is optional okay so you can put your details or not that is purely your uh, option submit uh, any number of maps as long as within 100 mb for each so there are around 3000 teams so uh, please submit uh, 100 mb each team let's take an example a very very simple uh, map that has been made using qgis isro boundaries uh, that we use to um, uh, demarcate the western ghats uh, the western ghats is one of the most uh, hottest of hot hot spots of biodiversity uh, according to unesco it is called hottest so we would never see that term right so it is it is one of a very fragile ecosystem in the world and um, we would like to know the boundaries and how it changed so that was our problem statement and so we used uh, the different products of isro to demarcate the western ghats which is purely a forested biodiversity system uh, and it spans across states okay so we have done that map and we have the map of the boundary and which states are sharing the boundary on the right side you see and it's india side okay so i have added a scale to let you know what the size of uh, the boundary is um, and some legend a legend which shows the india boundary state boundary and the western ghat boundary which is great this is a very very simple map those who have uh, limited computing power uh, this is that kind of a map so you don't have to exert or too much pressure on the map there's not much uh, calculations or something but it still is a very very important map Uh, we don't have this boundary uh, i'll tell you we, you cannot get this boundary just from online you will have to make this boundary so that is what we have done okay so the example 2 is uh, a map on uh, so you could see the title what i've requested in the previous also the title was below here the title is up on the on the top and we will be sharing this template so those who like to have this template like a very professional one uh, you could use it it's still it's on the resource page go to the resource page and submission 
you'll get this template. So what do you see here is a map of a regional transport network in Pune. Okay, so you so now I know that this is Pune, and on the you could see. You could see that I've added multiple data layers. It's not only water bodies. I could see roads. I could see urbanization, which has been calculated by different ISRO products, okay, uh, and other things. So uh, I've also added my own data. So sometimes, like an airport, an airport, uh, you have data. You know where it is. So you create the data in QGIS and you put a legend. If you see the planes, the two planes, and that is where the airports and, and, and proposed airport is coming, uh, we could put that as a new thing. So for example, a proposed airport, you cannot get that from a remote sensing image because it's still not there, right? But you know that that is the area that has been demarcated for a airport that is going to come. So you can go ahead, mark it, and then say this is the proposed airport map. So you could clearly see how the road networks are connected to this proposed map. And that is your map description and analysis on the right side. So a small documentation that goes along with your map. So when we promote this map, all this comes as a one whole picture. You have your introduction, a small um, details about the maps uh, and uh, how uh, what you try to map. Okay, So all this has been beautifully covered on the right side, very less uh, number of uh, wordings. Uh, and on the bottom is very important. Um, so let's let's go one by one. So legend is very important so that I know what the different colorings are, what is blue, what is yellow and stuff. Uh, the north arrow to show me which side my my I should be oriented um, and the scale uh, and the map description and analysis, what analysis was done and, and something very important things about the map. The last item is about you. So the details that I've asked so that when we promote this map on a sharing basis, on an open access basis, the participants can uh, be contacted using this details map. So here I have a logo. Uh, it's IITB student who did it. So let's have a logo. And uh, a team name has been given. The team name is what you gave in your registration. Your topic that you chose, the problem statement, or your own topic. Uh, team member lead, you can put the name organization and uh, contact email. So you can put your email, your phone number, uh, your web page, anything that you feel comfortable. There is no, it is purely optional. Uh, it is for your map to get recognized. Okay, so document submission is the second part of your submission. What you would need to do is you need to add a paragraph on the methodology, uh, which can include, but uh, not limited to, mention the ISRO data use. This is very, very important. When, so when I go to my previous map, I told you that I use ISRO data, but uh, unless I particularly tell you which data I used, there are multiple ISRO data that could have been used. So don't give us that um, question. Please let us know which ISRO data was used so that we know if it is a good data that you used for uh, the particular problem statement, because there could have been another better ISRO data that you should have been using or you know, are you using the highest resolution data? Those kind of things. Specific steps that you did in QGIS. What steps that did you incorporate to get from ISRO data to that map? Uh, complexities, if any, involved. You would have come through some issues. This is very important for us also, so that we make sure that the next products in ISRO or, or QGIS, we can write to the forum, uh, are more friendly for the users. Okay. So also uh, the complexities in your map itself, like how many layers, how many layers did you have to take to make that one single map? Uh, what are the different uh, calculations you did? So and one paragraph we would like to see on the application, what you propose as the application and use of the map. So you have a methodology on how to address the problem statement. What are the data you used and methods and techniques? Uh, and then a paragraph on the application and use of the map. So based on this, uh, the evaluation team, which would comprise of IIT Bombay, uh, ISRO and Rudra people would look at uh, 100 marks evaluation per map. Okay. This is also a draft. We can still update it if uh, there are different categories of maps. So right now, this is the evaluation pattern. Uh, the methodology, ISRO data used and GIS steps would take 40% of the marks. You would be assessed and given marks up to 40 for your methodology, which should include your ISRO data details, GIS, etc. Your complexity, what uh, different things you did, 
or uh, what are the different complex tools you used would take 20 marks. Uh, your potential and application of the map, this is very important, uh, that would take 40 marks. So you have addressed your question and what are the uses, that is the last part of uh, potential application. For example, if you say I mapped the road network in my village, okay, so now you have given me the road network, what are the uses of that? From your angle, because you know the data, you did the work, you should know how it could be used. Uh, if I see it, I would say, oh, good, I could know where the roads are uh, cutting your water resources or encroaching into the land. Uh, but you would have a different application. So we would like to see your application. So based on this evaluation criteria, we will shortlist uh, participants for the finals, which will happen from Jan 4 to Jan 10, 2021. What would happen in that week uh, or so finals is that you would be asked to um, present. Okay, so make presentations and show us how you did it very quickly. Like, like it would be like a 10 minute presentation where you would show the data you used, uh, how you, did, what are the critical steps that you did to come at those uh, maps. Participation certificates will be given to all submitted teams and participants. So this question is very important. A lot of people have been asking me. The certificate will be given to each and every person in the team. Okay, not for one team, one leader will get. If the team is four, all the four will get. So uh, you will get a participation certificate with all these important uh, personal signing. Uh, winners will get special prizes. So of the shortlisted and the winners will get a special prize or certificate, uh, which is different from a participation certificate. We'll also get uh, opportunity to do an internship at IIT Bombay for the QGIS team. So if uh, if it is very good and uh, like every year we, we do uh, incorporate students for a paid internship, we do a full paid internship and depending on the work and the potential, we would see if there's any opportunity for such kind of internship. With this I would like to thank you uh, because of the uh, technical issues, we were not able to do this as a live webinar. Please put your questions in the comment section in the YouTube link. We will get back to you hopefully soon. Thank you.